Hey guys, so today I'm doing a, um, a nail tutorial for you and I'm actually entering a competition and this is for soyoufeel.com and Arcadia Nail Art and today um, I'm doing it on a tip just purely because I've already painted my own nails as you can see and I don't really fancy taking it all off and starting. Okay, so I've painted this tip peach just to make it look like a natural nail so this isn't one of the steps this is just so that it looks more like a nail bed so the first thing that you want to do is apply your base coat and then you want to take some white polish and just plop some onto a piece of paper I'm just using the same one that I always use which is LA colors and this is just called French white and then what I'm gonna do I'm going to take a piece of sponge, this is just kitchen sponge, dab it into the white, sponge a little bit of the excess off and then I'm just going to start sponging this onto the nail. And what I'm trying to create is like a very rough French tip. So again, ignore the peach, the peach isn't a step, the peach is literally just to try and make the nail look a little bit more natural because the trouble with using tips is they are quite a clear colour to start with so if I had just done this straight over the tip like as it was you wouldn't really have seen it so you want to create your your tip like this you can bring it down a little bit if you want make it a little bit messy just like that and then what we're going to do is I'm going to take a silver colour now this is a W7 polish called silver it's quite a nice sparkly silver and I'm going to plop some of this onto the paper as well. A bit too much there, I think I did too much of a plop. <laughs> and what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use the same piece of sponge but I'm going to take a lot of the excess of the silver off because this is literally just going to be like an accent colour. I don't want it to cover the white too much and I'm just going to lightly dab some of this on the top. And it just gives this really beautiful snow-like effect. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to come back to you. Okay, so now that those layers are dry, I'm going to apply some glitter. And this is an LA Colors glitter called Sassy Sparkle. It's nothing too heavy. Because you don't really want to take away from this effect. I'm just going to put this all over anywhere that there is white and silver just to make it look extra pretty and sparkly, you know? Now, while that is drying, I'm going to create um, a pair of lips on the neutral part. So I'm just going to take some red. This is called Bright Red and it's by Barry M. I'm going to put some of this onto a piece of paper on the side. And I'm using a very thin dotting tool. And all I'm going to do is create a pair of lips. So to create a pair of lips, you want to do kind of like a half moon sort of shape. I'm not going to do like really seriously detailed lips because they're only small. And then you want to create an M. But you don't want the M and let's say it's an M and a U. You don't want the M and the U to touch because then it kind of looks like a kiss mark, which is what we're going for. And then you just want to flick the ends out slightly. Just like that. And that give you your little kiss. And I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do a little mini one just here but obviously you can do as many or as few as you want the smaller you do them the harder they are to do and they do end up getting bigger <laughs> I actually um, did this design last year on my nails and I absolutely loved it so I thought I would recreate it for you guys so there are the lips 
and I'm just going to wait for the rest of this now to dry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a green, and this is called Spring Green. It's by Barry M. And again, I'm going to put some of this off to the side on a piece of paper. And I'm going to take a striper, striping brush, very thin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the green. And I'm going to do some lines coming down the nail. Now it does not matter um, what direct. Well, it matters what direction, but it doesn't matter how many lines you do. Um, it doesn't matter um, it basically it doesn't have to look exactly the same as mine. I'm just gonna put some more, I haven't quite got enough paint. And this is just going down the nail. And you can have them branching off of each other like this. You don't want to do too many because you don't want it to get um, overpowering. They can cross over each other though. Don't be afraid to let them cross over each other. But you do want them to all go back to one point. Whether it be in the corner or whatever. So once you've got your uh, branches. Like this. Then what you want to do is you want to take... I'm going to take this small tool again and go back into that green and you want to create little buds coming off of your vines so they look like little leaves you don't have to do loads, you can do as many or as few as you want Have you guessed what we're doing yet? And once you've done that, you want to take a small amount of white, which I've decided to close because I'm stupid. You only need a tiny little bit. And you're just going to use the same tool, but you're just going to very lightly dab into the middle of your buds. Nothing too heavy. Just kind of doing like a little dot on each one. Like that. And then you want to take some of that red again. And in the corner where all of your green vines come together, we're just going to do a little tiny bow. Nothing... It doesn't even have to look like a bow, it can just be like a little tie. Just something very, very simple, just like that. And that, boys and girls, is your finished nail. You've got mistletoe kisses on your nail. And I loved this last year and I wore it. I kept redoing it because I liked it so much. So I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys next time.